What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dodger Heads. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Dodgers pitching prospect Justin Robleski. Justin, uh, newly promoted to Oklahoma City, about to make your second appearance this weekend. Uh, what's the transition like been so far for uh, to AAA? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different, um, kind of just in the faces in the locker room and kind of the people you, you talk to and, and meet. But um, at the end of the day, it's just, just baseball. Go out there, fill the zone, have fun, like same old, same old stuff. So it's, just, it's been fun to kind of get up here, and you guys have been super nice to me. So it's been, it's been awesome so far. Awesome. And I've talked to a couple of the guys. Like Everyone talks about the jump from single A to double A being massive. Yeah. What is the jump from double A to triple A? Obviously, there's more like kind of guys who have been in the pros that have dropped down, but how different uh, how, it does the competition seem in, in your limited experience so far? Yeah, um, it's it's definitely different in, in the way that kind of hitters approach you and kind of they're definitely more so keyholing stuff and looking location and pitch. So like if they don't get what they're looking for, they will take three and walk back to the dugout. That's what I noticed last week and. I think just kind of in watching these games this week, it's this seems a little different than Albuquerque was, but I mean, they're, it's very similar, very selective, just kind of professional at bats, I think is the biggest thing I've noticed. And then yeah. from a pitching side, it's just guys fill the zone more. It's just kind of a little jump from double A, but at the end of the day, it's again, still baseball and yeah. everybody's still doing it as their job. So I mean, everyone's good here and everyone's good there. It's just pro yeah. baseball, so it's cool. One of my favorite things when I meet young guys is kind of to dig into the story of how they got to the place. Your story, pretty interesting. I'm yep. catching up, drafted out of high school, 36th round. You decide to go to Clemson. You transfer twice. You get picked in the 11th round after having Tommy John yep. surgery. Take me back to like right before you get drafted in the 11th round. You had been drafted out of high school. You're like, okay, Clemson, yeah. two transfers, Tommy John. Like what's going through your mind heading into that draft? Yeah. Um... I was optimistic. I felt like I had shown, you know, abilities and kind of things that not a lot of people could do in the limited action I did get that year. Um, I had a really good fall at Oklahoma State and threw the ball pretty well, aside from like probably my last two or three when my elbow started bothering me at Oklahoma State. Um, but I'd say that day it was just more of like I knew someone was going to pick me and kind of we had figured out like the Dodgers had had interest and kind of that was the team I was looking at throughout the whole process, especially with just kind of their history and, and yeah. doing a good job with guys with CJ and yeah. stuff like that. So we were kind of looking at them and, and thankfully they picked me and I'm glad that they, I'm glad they did. I think, you know, had I not gotten hurt, like there's a chance I get picked by a different team that maybe is not as good of a situation. So yeah. it's it's been awesome for me. You might have become more qualified to be a Dodger after the Tommy John. If you maybe. hadn't had it, they might not have maybe, been interested. Maybe, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Um, so you're drafted in 2021, high A last year, you bump up to double A, um, kind of walk me through like where your head has been at every step. Like I get, let me rephrase at what point, like in this journey is every time you get promoted, like a little bit more confidence that this is going to happen. Like, are you the type of person that from the day you were drafted, like I'm going to make this dream happen? Where, how has that been? So and it's funny cause I've been asked the same question for like years and years, like, for me, it's always been like the goal is the major leagues, but like the goal is more than that for me. Like whatever, whatever I want it to be, like like it's it's gonna be high. Like that's yeah. just kind of how I roll and how I set my standards. But I think ever since I was a little kid, like this is what I want to do, and I'm I'm gonna do what it takes to get there. And you know, every step along the way has been awesome. But like, it's never I've never kind of wavered in like the confidence in myself that I can do it because I know that I can. It's just a matter of like. I've got to do the right things in order to get there. So yeah. I think that's, it's been more of a process in learning what I need to do to kind of become the best starting pitcher that I can be. And I think it's been kind of fun to just kind of feel out that process through the minor leagues. Yeah. Tell us about sort of who you are, your profile as a pitcher. Uh, one of the things that jumps out to me is I'm reading about you, you throw a bunch of pitches. Yeah. Um, for somebody who hasn't seen you pitch, maybe Dodger fans that are checking this out, like. Talk us through your pitches and kind of how you approach each of them. Yeah, um, so I've got a four-seam fastball. I'm going to throw it at the top majority of the time, working to both sides. It's going to be, you know, anywhere from 93 to 99. Like, that's kind of been where I've at. I Have hit, you touched 100? I hit 100 one time okay. this year so far. Um, but I'll sit So we could say 93 at, to 100 then? Yeah, I mean, as, as the game goes on, I usually, for whatever reason, just like, yeah. ramp it up and up and up. But... I think that's just more of me being a competitor than anything yeah. else. But um, yeah, that's the fastball. And then I've got a sinker that is usually like 92 to 95 range. 
I can run it up a little higher, but usually it's just the pitch to get in on lefties and it's kind of where I'm using it. Um, and then change up has been kind of a process this year and kind of figuring out a change up that fits my arsenal. So like before I'd say last year I was throwing, it was more of a side spinner. So I would move like anywhere from like 15 to 18 inches horizontally, which it would come out of the slot of my heater too much. So it, guys would just take it, which like is fine, but then you got to throw it for strikes all the time. Yeah. So kind of this year been a process and going to like, I think I threw like five different grips and five different outings and finally settled <laughs> on the one that I'm at now. Um, just kind of, I'll use it to righties on the outer half, just kind of play it off my fastball, just more of a front to back option. And then um, cutter has been a great pitch for me, just kind of use it early in counts, use it late in counts in that dead zone under the righties hands area. And then I've, been, I've thrown it to lefties too. It's more of a slidery cutter than it is a true like vert cutter. So it's it's been a huge weapon for me this year. And then sliders, a sweepy slider that I throw. So it's anywhere from, you know, 12 to 15 horizontal. I mean, I've run it up there, but with the with moving to the major league ball, it's it's a little different. But yeah. it's more it catches more consistently, so it's it's been good. And then um, I throw a curveball, but I haven't I've kind of gone away from it recently okay. just because it it's a pitch where like I need to continue to develop it. It was my best pitch in college, and then after after I had TJ, it's just been like it's been okay. Like it hasn't been bad, but it's just like if I want to be in the big leagues, you know this year whatever like it, i need to have my like the four i have or the five i have right now or yeah. half and that's kind of that's kind of what i roll with so okay first start in triple a uh five innings 11 strikeouts 11 is a massive number uh were you surprised at all like at, at how, how much success i mean you mentioned that maybe the guys here have a little bit different approach yeah. but how like how surprised slash confidence building is a is a performance like that? Obviously, eleven strikeouts is, is great to see, but um, I made a couple mistakes during the outing, gave up homer to Greg Jones, the center, and then another one on a first pitch cutter. It was I didn't expect him to swing, so he <laughs> just ambushed the cutter and then kind of made a mistake late in the game that cost me another run. But I, I, I was definitely it's definitely good to see eleven strikeouts. Obviously, obviously you're you're happy anytime you strike out double digits, but at the same time, it's like understanding like what I need to do to, to kind of get better and like really I want to create create contact so I can get deeper into games yeah. um, and it was just kind of a weird I mean I'm not gonna say it was a bad outing but like yeah. it's kind of a weird situation where like I was getting a lot of takes late in counts I was getting ahead and that's just kind of that's kind of how I pitch is just try to get ahead in the counts and then the product of that is sometimes some days like I'll get ahead and guys will ground out a, a bunch and I'll get into the seventh with 73 pitches and then some days it'll happen like the other day where my stuff's a click better or they're not seeing it or whatever. And I end up striking out, you know, eight to eight to 12 guys. Yeah. So it's, it's been kind of fun to, to it's definitely good to see that. Yeah. Okay. Last question. You mentioned, Hey, the goal of trying to make it to the major leagues, obviously this season is the goal. Yeah. Have the coaches here as the organization, like, have there been anything that they've communicated to you of like, Hey, this is what we're looking for. Um, I would say the start of this year was just kind of a matter of, again, let's develop that changeup in order to get righties out. And I think I've proven, you know, every, every outing from my past like two months, I've probably seen like at max two or three lefties in the lineup. So it's been, it sucks to kind of see that as a left-handed pitcher. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, here we go. But now it's it's kind of shifted to like, I feel really confident against righties. And obviously I'm always going to be confident against left-handed guys. So it's been good. It's been fun to kind of like, understand that they just want me to get righties out like that's what they wanted me to do to start this year off and I've kind of checked that box so now it's just kind of keep pitching keep filling the zone keep kind of just being who I am as a pitcher I think that's love that's it. all I gotta do love it awesome well thank you for the yeah. time man I appreciate it Dodger fans Justin Robleski a name that I'm sure you'll be hearing about soon hopefully in Los Angeles thanks for watching